Deja Vu FM. Right, Miss Brett, welcome to uh, Deja. Um, as a listener of your music, I feel that people have gone on a journey with you and kind of seen you mature, grow, and now you to Atlantic. Um, we're now at the point where we've got your new single falling down. Can you just tell people a little bit about it? It's about a young girl that I knew um, that fell in love with a guy that manipulated her feelings and she got pregnant at the age of 16 and then he left her and she was on her own to deal with the whole situation um, and yeah, it's a true story. Okay, so was it like a childhood friend or something yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So do you feel that, um, obviously that's quite a big issue, do you feel that you're in a, a place where you can kind of you know, give to sort of younger people, they look up to you sort of thing, so did you feel it had morals and... Yeah, I felt like um, the songs that I made before were all about fun and that's what I wanted to do as a person, I just wanted to have fun, um, but I guess of late I've been going through a lot of things um, and I've been getting things off my chest and mentally as um, a female I've, I've grown, um, so that's why I feel it's the best time to kind of put the message out there. Yeah, okay. So the type of singles are uh, Get Dark, Selector and Elements was a big mixtape. Uh, when's the album coming and what can we expect? Especially if you've been quite open in the past with domestic violence, depression and the struggles that you've faced as a female MC. My album will come out when there's a demand for it. I don't, I don't want it to come out before it's time and people just don't get it. Um, but in terms of content, there'll be a lot of honest music on there. Um, and a lot of vibes and fun and energy because that's the kind of person I am. So. Okay, and yeah. will there be something like Selector on there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there'll be loads of Selector vibes on there um, and lots of falling down vibes on there as well. So, it'll, as a person, I'm very eclectic um, yeah. anyway, so it will be a, a vast. It kind of be something like, you know, like Miss Dynamite, she can make the club hits, but she's yeah. also got the, you know, real deep kind of, yeah. all right, so it's not just going to be like a club album, you know. Yeah. Um, you're a self-confessed tomboy, is that fair to yes, say? Yes, I <laughs> um, And you're quite striking in your looks, obviously. Do you think um, it's been kind of a struggle, especially in this industry, because you're good looking, that you've had to kind of work twice as hard to prove yourself because people think, oh, you know, she got signed, she's good looking, mm. or blah, 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 because of the skills. Have you ever had that kind of negativity? All the time. Um, I, you know, I put up my F64 and I specifically dressed down. I wore like some baggy jumper and mm. some jacket over the top, so people wouldn't focus on the way that I looked. But it didn't work, and <laughs> people were still commenting on the looks and stuff. But um, it is a struggle, and it's really frustrating for people not to listen to your lyrics and what you're talking about, especially when you're talking about something really important. Yeah. Um, that's very meaningful to you. Yeah, yeah. But in saying that, you just have to keep going and keep it moving. And hope that people see yeah. the other side. Um, talking of beauty, uh, in your song Get Dark, uh, you say you're a pretty little lighty, but you can get dark. What is the darkest thing that you've done? Ooh, the darkest thing that I've ever done? Murder. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> um, oh, what have I done? I've done a lot of things in my time. Um, no. You know, I'm a Scorpio, so I, I can be, you know, I do have that sting. Um, and if you mess with me, then it's over for you. But other than that, I'm, I'm a really nice person, honestly. No criminal records? No, sure? I don't. I don't. Right, no. I can Robberies, still I can travel to America. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, you obviously want also be modelling for pastry. Um, will you be bringing out your own clothing range or anything like that? I want to, um, mm. and I've been working on my merchandise. Um, and I guess the first time people will see my merchandise is at my live show on the 8th of May. And I'm really excited for everyone to see what I've created. Yeah. Um, and hopefully people like it. Okay, so is that going to be your headline? It's just you, have you got support? Yeah. or? It's uh, me headlining, and Marvel are going to be performing there. Okay, so and where's the show? It's in Barfly in Camden okay. on the 8th of May to come down. And how do people get tickets? Um, you go on HMV yeah. or you can check my Twitter okay. right online and um, all the links are there. And I'll get a free ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll hook you up. <laughs> um, and I've got to pick you up actually because you're always featuring the biggest UK artists and DJs in your videos and obviously K-Par mixed elements. Yeah. Loving the thing, my DJ thing there. Um, who are you feeling at the moment? Who do you want to blow next? 
Uh, Crepes and Coma. Yes. And young, um, definitely for them, like uh, their lyrical abilities are crazy. I feel like they've set trends lyrically for MCs um, with the punchlines and stuff. Um, and obviously as well, Chip. Like I would, look, I really want Chip to do well in America with Ti and, yeah. and stuff. So. People tell me it's going well for him in the yeah. studio, so hopefully we'll see that. Um, and talking of other rappers, you recently had your collaboration with Doc Rotten mm -hmm. in your episodes before. You said there were rumours of dating, which were never actually confirmed. Yeah. Tell us, what's the answer? <laughs> Come on. Well, you know what? Because I did a song with him, The Speed and Vibe. After that, it was over for me. Everyone was like, oh, was you trying to be like Jay-Z and Beyonce? Like, what was this collab about? Um, and I got that with Griminal as well. When I worked with Griminal, but with Bruminal, we wanted to cause controversy. Like, I've never been with him, I've never dated with him or anything. But we wanted to cause controversy. And we did that, but I still get it to this day. Like, oh, are you with Bruminal? Are you with Doc? So in my 64, I just addressed the situation. Mm -hmm. And I said what I said. Definitely so, <laughs> a no? No. Alright, alright, just clarifying. Um, all your fans always want to see you live, you know, like touring and stuff like that. So you said that you've got your own show as well. What can people expect at the show? Is it going to be like just huge because it's your first one where you're headlining or like, what's, what's it going to be? Um, it's going to be a lot different to any of my other shows. I'm doing songs off my album. Um, I'm going to be doing my F64 with a live band. Which is going to be crazy, um, and yeah, I guess for me it's a rebirth of Miss Brat. Like this whole show is is definitely the rebirth. So mm -hmm. we're going to see a completely different Miss Brat. I think you're a lot maturer now. I know it sounds really patronising, and I'm, I apologise, but I can't <laughs> you say really. That. It's <laughs> you yeah. say that. Well. <laughs> But yeah. do you know what I mean? It's like before it was kind of like the club things and now we're getting yeah. e-comedians and stuff and I just feel, you know, that's, that's my opinion anyway. But, all right, finally, um, how do people get in touch? Um, get in touch with me on my Twitter. I'm on that 24-7. It's Brat Online. Um, my website, bratonline.com for all the latest news Brat stuff. Um, my YouTube, Brat Online for all the latest videos. And the singles out when? Sick from May, Falling okay. Down. And people can pre-order it on iTunes now? Yeah, they can. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, please listen to uh, Deja. Thank you for having me. Deja, Deja Vu FM. 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 FM.